Hi, my name is Dr. Galliana, and I'd like to welcome all of you to the Hackensack Middle School Honors Program. We are here to celebrate the successes and hard work of each of our Hackensack Middle School students receiving honors in the second marking period. In this program, you will hear messages from our grade level assistant principals, our school counselors, and even a special guest speaker who is also a graduate of Hackensack Middle School. Please enjoy our Hackensack Middle School Honors Program, celebrating the success and hard work of each of our students receiving academic honors in the second marking period. Thank you. Hola, mi nombre es Dr. Galliana y me gustaría darles la bienvenida a todos ustedes al programa de honores de la Escuela Intermedia de Hackensack. Estamos aquí para celebrar a nuestros estudiantes de la Escuela Intermedia de Hackensack que recibieron honores en el segundo periodo de calificaciones. En este programa escuchará mensajes de nuestros subdirectores, las consejeras escolares y un invitado especial que también se graduó de la Escuela Intermedia de Hackensack. Por favor, disfrute el programa de honores mientras celebramos los éxitos de nuestros estudiantes. Gracias. Hello, Hackensack Middle School family. This is Mr. Morel, assistant principal of the seventh grade. I want to congratulate all of you who made principal's list or honor roll this marking period. In spite of all the challenges you faced, you have persevered and you have overcome all of your challenges. Congratulations. And some of you are here a second time. Congratulations to you as well. We're proud of you. Continue the great work that you're doing at Hackensack Middle School and beyond. Hola, yo soy el señor Morel, yo soy asistente director del séptimo grado en Hackensack Middle School. Quiero felicitar a todos los estudiantes que han hecho la lista de honores y la lista de principal en Hackensack Middle School. Aunque hay mucho reto durante COVID-19, eh, ustedes han superado cada una de sus metas. Felicidades. Si alguno de ustedes están aquí por una segunda vez, felicidades. Continúen su buen trabajo y sigan hacia adelante. Hello, Hackensack Middle School family. I'm Mr. Johnson, your eighth grade assistant principal, and I want to congratulate not just my eighth graders, but all students who have achieved academically in these most challenging times. We are all so proud of you. We hope that you continue along your journey and, and do what is right and, and work to your full potential. Again, congratulations and thank you for being the wonderful students that you are. Hello, Hackensack Comments. This is Ms. Madden, your fifth grade assistant principal here. I wanted to take this opportunity to congratulate all the students and their parents who are receiving an award tonight. We are also very proud of you and we hope you know what a great accomplishment this is, especially during these challenging times. Keep up the good work. Hi, I'm Ms. Burroughs. Congrats to all of my eighth graders for who made the principal role, the honor roll, and congrats to the mom, the dads, and aunts and uncle, grandma. I am so proud of you guys. I know this year has been rough because you're not celebrating with each other at the end of your journey. So I just want to let you guys know that I'm very excited and proud and proud of every one of you. Bye. Hi everybody, I'm Ms. Rincioni, I'm the seventh grade counselor. I just want to congratulate everybody today who's received honor roll or principal's list. What an achievement and what an honor. It's been such a tough year and I just want to congratulate you on being able to overcome all of the obstacles. So this is such a special time for you and your families. So I just wanted to really tell you how proud we are of you at Hackensack Middle School. Hi everyone, this is Mrs. McCain. I'm one of the school counselors here at Hackensack Middle School. I wanted to congratulate all the recipients for the honors this marking period. We congratulate you, we congratulate your parents, your guardians, your neighbors, all those who've helped you throughout this marking period. And we also congratulate you because this year has been very difficult for everyone and challenging. And those of you who have not made the honor roll uh, principal's list, you still have an opportunity. You are all scholars, remember. And remember, throughout this season, we are staying socially distanced, but we have to remain connected to one another. Congratulations again. 
Hello to all the honor roll and principal list recipients and your guardians, parents, and friends. I want to congratulate all of you on a job well done. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. This is one of the hardest years we've ever had academically as teachers and as students, and you should be so proud of yourself and even more so this year. Uh, special shout out to my fifth grade students. Uh, it has been especially rough on you guys this year, not knowing the building and having to start virtually. I am so super proud of you. Job well done and I can't wait to congratulate you in person. Bye everyone. Hello Hackensack Middle School community. I'm Mr. Gaines, a ninth grade English teacher at Hackensack High School. It is such an honor to be asked to address all of you today during this virtual honors ceremony. While I know there are family members, teachers, administrators, and other folks in our community taking part in today's celebrations, right now I wanna speak directly to you, the students. The weather is breaking, the sun is out, temperatures are rising, and while I know many of you are very proud to be celebrated in this way, there's probably also some small part of you that wishes you were outside, enjoying the weather, and not on Zoom listening to teachers talk. I get it. But even though it's beautiful outside, believe me, there is no place I would rather be than right here celebrating with you. I know this past year has been hard, and I know you don't need me to tell you that, but you have done what many other people, including adults, have struggled to do. You have been able to maintain a sense of normalcy for yourself by showing up every day and doing your classwork, even on the days when it was hard to do so. That takes a lot of strength. That takes a lot of courage. And you may not realize it, but I bet it made life a whole lot easier on the adults who take care of you, knowing that you were maintaining your grades in the midst of all this chaos. For some of you, it was easy. For others, it was a challenge. You might feel like you didn't do your best. And if you feel that way, just know that it's okay to not be at your best every single day. What matters is that you always try your best. This was a lesson I learned at Hackensack Middle School. I'm a teacher at the high school now, but once upon a time ago, in the last century, the 90s, I was a student who walked those halls. And before I entered the middle school, when I was a student at Parker, I got all straight A's all the time. And to be honest, I don't even think I tried very hard to get them. School just came easily to me and I loved every second of it. But the middle school, that was harder. Math in particular was terrifying. There were times when I really struggled in classes and other times when I was more interested in my friends or video games or playing outside than I was in my schoolwork. I didn't always get grades I was proud of. And I didn't always qualify to be recognized at these honor ceremonies. As much as I enjoyed having fun, I knew I wanted to do better. I started trying harder. And while I procrastinated every now and then, I started to feel differently about my grades and what they meant to me. When I got a C plus in math, but I tried really hard to understand it, I went after school for extra help and I knew that I had done my best. I still felt disappointed, but only a little bit. What was always harder was knowing that I received a grade that didn't really reflect what I knew or what I was capable of, but was a reminder of how I maybe slacked off or didn't try my hardest. Always try your best. Always work harder than you did yesterday. Never be afraid to challenge yourself and don't be so quick to take the easy path. You may not always get straight A's, but it will always be worth it. And it will always make you feel good knowing that you bet on yourself. So with that said, I look forward to seeing you when you get to the high school. For the eighth graders, hopefully that will be in person and hopefully in my honors English class. The class is a bit of a challenge, but it's one you can definitely handle. Congratulations again.